This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this exercise, we're going to take a look at transitions, and that could be transitioning from one state to the next, because as we discovered in the motion exercise, you don't transition between changes in the objects, you transition between changes in the state. So to get yourself started, I need you to open the transitions.fxp file located in your exercise folder. And when it opens, you'll see that there's an image of a street in Bern. And if you go to the project library, just click on the tab, you'll see there are two pictures here. One of the original picture and the one we're going to swap to. Now you can swap between individual states, but you can also swap between the states in a component. And that's what we're going to do here. So select the picture and in the HUD, make it a button component. And let's name it swap. And now that we've got a button component here, we can double click on it to open the component. And there are the states up over down and disabled. So we'll do the over, which is replacing this image with this image. Now, one of the things we're going to do here is something a little bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to take the image and put it on top of the original. So we'll just pull the uh, panel down here, open up the images. There's the image we want, and we're just going to pull it over. And we're actually just going to put it in the same location as the original image. So I can just twirl up the components, twirl up the images, don't need it. And let's go to the properties panel. So you can see that the property is exactly the same. It's in the same location, zero, zero. And if we go to the layers panel, you can see that it's visible. And if I turn off the visibility of the bottom image, it's gone. And if I turn off the visibility of this image, it's gone. So let's just make sure that we've got this all set up. And you notice that it's a different location, so we're going to make this three and one. So we'll go to this image, turn it on, turn off the original image, and we'll set the X to three and the Y to one. Open up the timeline panel, and you can see there's the fade in, there's the fade out. Now I'm just going to fit this in the window. And what we want to do is when I roll over the upstate, which is right here, when I roll over this image, what I want to do is fade in this image here in the overstate, and that's really easy to do. We're going to start by having the original image fade in over one second. So you can just drag the tab out, and then we're going to have it fade out over another second. So you can just select the tab, and a quick way of doing that is to make the duration one second and set the delay to one second. And if you hit the return key, that strip fades over, and if we go up to over and play it, you can see there's the transition. And if we want to go back, we come to the overstate, and you can see that the image has the fade in, fade out from the original state. And if I click it, you can see there, so we'll go to up, and there's the transition. So what we're gonna do is we're going to fade it out over one second. We're gonna have it fade out after one second. And we'll have this one fade in for one second. And if we test it, you can see that you get a really good transition here. And if we come back to the main artboard and test the movie, it's going to pop open in the browser. And if I roll over it or roll off, it comes back to one. So you can see that you can do some pretty cool transitions just by simply playing with the layer strips. In the next exercise, we're going to take a look at resizing objects. So we'll do a transition based on size. We'll make an object go from larger to smaller and back again.